After declaring for days that it is ready to fight a two-front war, Israel's defense minister on Saturday announced that the Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon is paying the price for taking part in the war against it. Ever since the war started between Israel and Hamas, Israeli defense forces have also been engaging fire with Hezbollah on the Lebanese border. An Israeli soldier was killed in a missile attack on Saturday. A day before the Israeli army released footage of its forces targeting Hezbollah infrastructure, including an observation post in Lebanon. But Hezbollah poses a bigger danger to Israel than Hamas. Let's take a look at how this is so. Hezbollah is a Shiite militant group based in Lebanon. Compared to Hamas, Hezbollah has an extensive security apparatus. The group, in its manifesto, its vowed to expel Western powers completely. That's the aim. It called for the destruction of Israeli state and its pledged allegiance to Iran's supreme leader in 1978. Hezbollah, led by Hassan Nasrallah, who took over as Secretary General in 1992. This was after the previous leader, Abbas al Musawi, was assaulted. Was, pardon me, was assassinated by Israel. Nasrallah oversees the seven-member Shura Council and its five sub-councils. And according to a U.S. department, Hezbollah has tens of thousands of members and supporters worldwide. And according to International Substitute for, Strate for Institute for Strategic Studies, Hezbollah has 20,000 active fighters and 20,000 reserves in the year 2020. The group also boasts of a stockpile of over 150,000 rockets and missiles, many long-range and precision-guided Fateh 110 and M600 are some of the longest-ranged weapons in the Hezbollah arsenal. Experts say Hezbollah poses a larger arsenal of, possesses a larger arsenal of artillery than most nations enjoy. A 2018 report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies called it the world's most heavily armed non-state actor. So at a time when Israel's much touted Iran dome could not take the volley of Hamas rockets coming in from Gaza, Hezbollah's bigger arsenal of tens of thousands of rockets poses a much bigger threat. The conflict between Israel and Hezbollah goes back to Israel's occupation of southern Lebanon in 1978. Even after Israel officially withdrew from southern Lebanon in 2000, it continued to clash with Hezbollah. In the light of recent flare-ups, Israeli tanks and troops have been stationed along Lebanon and it has also evacuated its citizens from the border areas.